Hello and welcome to Solid Cat. Today we are going to make this simple part here. Uh, this is 67 millimeter total height, and there are two fingers hanging down this, and this is the boss extrude here of uh, 18 millimeter here and 26 millimeter outside dia and 18 millimeter bore. And this is 11 millimeter radius here uh, and 24 millimeter radius here. And and this is 40 millimeter from the center. So let's start. I will open a new document. Okay. On the front plane, I will draw a line. Sorry. I will draw a line of 40 millimeter and draw a circle of 24 times 2 and 11 times 2. I will draw a line. Let me clean this up first. Let me draw a line from here from the quadrant to here and I will go back here and make a tangent relation with this and I will give it the dimension here of uh, 7 degree and I will mirror this all mirror the other side now I will uh, I will extrude it up to an arbitrary value. I will control select these and take the mid plane and take it out up to 40 millimeter. Like so. I don't know what the width is, but uh, I have to do it for cutting on the right plane. I will draw a sketch from here I will start and go back it will convert into a arc and go back there and join this I will draw a center line from here to quadrant of this and make this and this I will give it a dimension here of 2 degree like so I will draw a circle here of 10 millimeter and give it a dimension this one is 10 millimeter also now I will cut it through all both flip up flip side to cut and it will cut outside the main thing this is what we achieve on the top plane I will draw a circle circle like 26 millimeter and another circle of let me check another circle is 18 millimeter 18 millimeter okay now I will cut it ext sorry not cut extrude it I will sketch plane offset 67 millimeter flip side to cut and up to vert up to surface not to surface up to vertex here like so okay I will use this again and uh, I will cut it now I will go for cut I will choose this this reverse direction through all okay so this will take care of our cut hole in it now I will give it a fillet of 2 millimeter this and this 2 millimeter okay close let me try again fill it I will check select this and this is two millimeters it should it should work but it is not working 
yes there is some problem i have to go to front plane i will i have to cut this extra material here and convert this entities and i will join this here i will cut extrude it both side like so like this now i will uh, apply fillet here fill it this and this like so the phase one is complete only the color remaining fill it i will give it a color here and phase one is complete now the material is called plain carbon steel the material is given the phase one is complete now is the time for phase two in the phase two there are five millimeter uh, here wall thickness is a shelled out here and uh, all these uh, in these this is two millimeter uh, typical uh, fillets all over and uh, this uh, the main thing is that 40 uh, uh, r11 uh, comes down to 32 millimeter so this is the big change here so let's check how can we do that i will go back here and i will move this face move i will move it to eight millimeter eight millimeter like so okay now i will shell it this and this and this uh, five millimeter which is given in the drawing so this is given done now i will roll back everything only the un inside fillets are remaining so i will go to fill it and add the shell command the shell and it will take care of all the fillets let's it's it's done now it's time for uh, uh, for simulation so there is uh, two pink faces here fix and this is the load direction and 10000 newton load to green face here so let's do it i will go to evaluate simulation express next i add a fixture this and this and okay that and next i will add a force here and uh, i will select it direction this is the direction selected direction is this or i will take the top plane okay this 10000 newton the direction is okay the arrow is pointing up so everything is looks fine now we will go to there next material is given the yield strength and young's modules of the plain carbon steel next and run simulation it will take some time and this is the simulation does the part perform perform as you expected just continue and this is our factor of safety 2.7819129 that's the factor of safety here so this was the uh, part i hope you liked it like it i don't want to save the simulation results so uh, i hope you like it and some people may learn something out of it and if you have any question please leave it in the comment box and down and uh, i will try to answer each and every question thanks for watching and please subscribe <music>